Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, and in this video, I will be showing you all how to drop the refresh rate to 10 hertz from 120 hertz. Okay, so a couple of days ago, I made a video testing out the refresh rate to see um, if it does drop to one hertz. Because at the unpacked event, Samsung claims that the refresh rate on the S22 Ultra can drop from 120 hertz to 1 hertz. But on my test, what I did in the video, the lowest it dropped to was 24 hertz, which is unacceptable. Um, they claimed that it can drop to 1 hertz, which helps to save battery life. Um, they created a hype about it and in reality it does not go lower than 24 hertz so guys um, I'm going to show you how to install an application if you want the refresh rate to drop to as low as 10 hertz okay so that's the best we're going to get guys we can get it to drop to 10 hertz so I'm going to show you exactly um, how this works so um download the application the link will be in the description down below so when you download it just install it place it on your internal storage and then go to the my files folder and you will see the application it's called galaxy max hertz so this is the application and just go ahead and install it and then open it up okay so there's a new update for it so just go ahead and install the update turn that little toggle switch on and then select update and then go back Okay, let's just check that it's installed. <coughs> Turn on the brightness here on the display for you all. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, so it's on adaptive so just make sure that your screen refresh rate is on adaptive so just go to display and motion smoothness and just make sure it's on adaptive 120 hertz so just go back into the galaxy max hertz application and scroll down and where it says adaptive minimum hertz just slide it all the way down so that it now says 10 hertz and as you can see the refresh rate now has dropped to 10 hertz and anytime you start using the display again it will jump back up to 120 hertz And then the second you stop, it'll drop to 24 and then back to 10. So it's quite a shame really that um, we have to use an application to lower the refresh rate back to 10 hertz. Even though Samsung advertised it as dropping to 1 hertz from 120 hertz, which obviously isn't true so i'm just going to go back into the application again guys and just show you if there's some other settings so i'm just going to scroll through them all so you can even force 
you can even fast the lowest hertz refresh rate so you can force it to stay on and there's a brightness threshold for adaptive and the 120 hertz works with power saving mode on as well and you can keep smoothness on with power saving mode and i'm just going to mention one last thing as well guys this application um it's not free so i recommend just well all the features aren't free so i recommend just buying the premium version so for now this is just a trial version so everything's unlocked you can use everything um but it's just for eight days so i recommend just buying the premium version it's definitely worth the money and you get all these um settings and options so anyway guys i don't want to make the video too long so that's it for the video this was just my video showing you how to get the refresh rate down to 10 hertz even though samsung claimed that it can drop to one hertz which like i mentioned before it's simply not true um but hey thanks for the app i don't even know the developer's name of the application but <laughs> whatever your name is thanks for the app um it's definitely a very useful app Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I'm out. See you in the next one. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. I'm out. Deuces. Remember to give the video a thumbs up, guys. Also, share the video. Peace.